A tornado leaves a trail of damage in Crawford County. Tonight, the National Weather Service confirming what was already suspected. Good evening. An EF0 tornado touches down in Wayne Township, south of Guy's Mills. Happened around 1 o'clock this afternoon. And the evidence of the storm's power is obvious. The story new at 10 o'clock tonight. Julia Hazel was in Crawford County. She joins us now in the control room with much more on the damage there. Good evening, Sean. Now the damage along Route 173 was very extensive with half of a barn roof completely off, including large amounts of debris in the following field. Now on the other property along Fowler Road, it looks to appear there's a huge hole inside of a barn's roof that could completely damage from the tornado. Roofs being blown off barns and houses along with a few power lines destroyed. More than several properties were damaged from what the National Weather Service confirming was an F-Zero tornado. First responders arrived on scene a little afternoon to more than what they expected when they first called. Randolph Fire Department, Cochrane Fire Department all responded to this area, uh, took care of the tractor trailer and uh, took, started helping out people here that uh, had lost a lot of stuff. One resident says she was at work when she heard her father-in-law's property had been damaged. It's that a reaction. huge loss for all of them, like the farmers in this area, you know, it's, I mean, they're lost crops, they've lost, you know, their buildings. Wolstrom explains where most of the damage is on her family member's property. I would say it was the roof, the roof and his um, corn crib that he has behind the house. I don't think there's much left of that. We have at least... Uh, Six buildings heavily damaged right where we're at right now. This area is where a lot of the debris landed from the damaged properties. Almost as quickly as this tornado came through, people in the community rushed to help those hardest hit began to repair the damage. These people were repairing a damaged roof just a couple hours after the storm. A lot of the community have come together to um, Reese's. Looks like they've had a lot of damage and they have a lot of people over there helping them out. So that's nice to see the small community come together in Cochran, So, Alan Clark, the director of Crawford County Emergency Management Agency, says multiple farm animals died from the tornado. However, no people were injured. There was also some water flooding in the streets of Erie, but that was quickly cleared up, Sean. Boy, and that drone footage really gives you a, a unique perspective of the damage. It's, it's pretty severe. Yes. All right, thank you, Julia.